Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. We are doing the How Not To Die Cookbook still. Uh, we're on day six. I'm doing dinner and dessert today. So we're gonna do the dessert first because it does take four hours to chill, so you should make this dessert ahead of time. This is the two berry pie with pecan sunflower crust. Um, I am using walnuts instead of pecan, so you can use either. So actually mine would be a two berry pie with walnuts and flour crust. But either way, it's gonna be fantastic. So I'll show you how to make this. It'll look super easy. And then I'll make dinner after, and then we'll try it all together. And yeah, I think this is a great, a great day of eating. Um, so I suggest picking up the cookbook, the How Not To Die cookbook, and trying to use yourself. This is on page 203 back in the back of the cookbook and I think this would be great to take to any party this summer or just to have if you have a sweet tooth but I will show you guys how to put it all together and then we'll see how it turns out so for our two berry pie with pecan sunflower crust I have my sunflowers my pitted dates that are soft and I did walnuts instead of pecans and I'm gonna put this in a food processor and then we're gonna put it into our pie dish and I'll make the crust and show you guys Super easy though. So I just put it in the food processor and made sure it was a nice sticky consistency. I did add about two tablespoons of water to that. And then I just gently press it down into my pan and kind of evenly distribute. I'm gonna probably go around and make sure it's even one more time. And then I'm just gonna put this in the refrigerator to chill while I'm making the filling. But overall, it was really easy. For the filling, I suggest using a Vitamix. But if you don't have one, make sure you soak your cashews. Um, so in this, there's cashews, lemon, pure vanilla, date sugar that I'm going to put here in pulse. And then I'm going to add my banana and blueberries again. So, and then I'll make our filling. So I'll show you guys how I do this. But overall, it's been super easy. I just think that you need to plan ahead because of that time of letting it chill in the fridge for four hours. So I have my lemon, my cashews, I have vanilla, date sugar. And I'm going to put that all together in my Vitamix and blend and then add the next part. So this is what it looks like before I add my banana and blueberries, then I'll show you guys after. But I did add just a tiny bit of water and just help my blender out, move everything along. And then after, it makes this beautiful purple color, purplish blue color, and I just took a little taste and it's so good. So I'm gonna put this on top of our crust now and then it's gonna sit um, in the fridge for like four hours. For dinner we have portobellas and greens on toast and baked onion rings. I think I'm going to start with the baked onion rings first. I've been so excited about these. I love onion rings so I'm excited to see how they turn out. And I'm also going to have an air fryer here soon. So I'm thinking these onion rings might be really great in the air fryer. Um, but if you want a video on that let me know in the comments below. I'm going to be doing some air frying um, different recipes for this channel coming up. So that's exciting, but I'm gonna get started on the baked onion, how he has it in his cookbook. For the onion rings, you need oat flour and chickpea flour, and then you need a, um, cut base of almond milk, I'm doing cashew, and you need some rice vinegar. So you're gonna add this all together and then mix it really well. And this is gonna be one of the agents that you dip your onion rings into. When it's all mixed together, it looks like that. Just take your time, it took me a couple minutes just with a fork to really mix it in really well, but so far so good. I'm moving on now to the dry dredge station. So I'll show you what's in that. For the dry station, I have my whole wheat breadcrumbs, cornmeal, my savory spice blend. I'm gonna add a little bit of smoked paprika on top and mix really well. And then we have our two kind of bases for making our onion rings. Those, cutting those onions definitely made me tear up. So, so I just wanna say that not all your onion rings have to be perfect. I have a couple of pieces that are cut in half that just cut weird. Um, it doesn't really matter, you are fine either way. So I'm gonna do my stations. I have my wet, then my dry, then back on the sheet. So um, here is my onion ring. I'm just gonna flip it over in my whip batter, coat it all, and then put over into my dry and help it stick and I'm just pressing in all of those breadcrumbs. 
it's not it's definitely a messy um you're gonna get your hands messy but it turns out looks pretty good so i'm just gonna put that back on my baking sheet and keep going keep the time lapse So I have all of my onion rings coated. So now I'm gonna bake at 425 for 10 minutes and then flip them and bake on the other side. So see how they turn out. All right, so dinner is portobello and greens on toast. The onion rings just came on the oven. They look very good. I have some right here. They look nice and crispy. I think they would be really great in the air fryer, but we'll have to play around with that down the road. Um, I do have my portobellos and greens. I am doing stuff slightly different. I have my whole big pile of mushrooms right there. I chop them up in little pieces. I'm not really thinly sliced just because I don't like mushrooms and this is how I'm going to eat them. Um, for the spinach or chard, I have this like kale, broccoli, red cabbage, or purple cabbage mixture. I'm just going to use that instead. It's okay if you play around. Um, I have my scallions. They're not really minced. They're kind of chopped, but again, it's okay. I have my cashew milk instead of almond milk, and I have my umami sauce. So I'm going to put this all together. I'm also not going to do it on toast. I'm going to do it with a whole grain because I have that Ezekiel toast, and I'm just not feeling it today. So I'm going to do probably a quinoa with this, but I will show you it put all together. And it's marked easy, so shouldn't be that hard to do. Again, not a huge mushroom fan, so we'll see if I like it. So I just finished dinner. My kitchen's a mess, so I have to go clean that up after, but I made it with quinoa, and I have some of my onion rings right here to show you, but we're gonna give it a try. So the main thing you can taste is that umami sauce. Can't really taste the mushrooms, so if you're not a huge mushroom fan, try this out. Again, you can make on toast, so you add a quinoa. It's really, really nice. Just exactly tastes like that amount of sauce. Kind of like a soy sauce, but without all that extra sodium. I'm gonna try an onion ring. So these look like they turn out pretty good. Let's see if they taste good. Nice and crunchy. You can make like some homemade um, ketchup needs to be really good. So, overall, a win. I will try the dessert a little bit later once it has time to set. I did put it in my freezer. It didn't look like it was setting that well in my refrigerator, so we'll see. And yeah, so far day six is a win. I'll see you guys when I have dessert. I'm gonna go enjoy this. There's a Penguins game on right now. And I have my family over, so I'm gonna go and enjoy that and watch the Penguins game. I'll see you guys in a little bit. So dessert just came out of the refrigerator. I did put it in the freezer for a little bit so it could thicken up, but it looks so beautiful. And we're gonna try it, but it's so pretty. You could probably do this to any party, although I'm not sure how it would hold up after a few hours since it does need refrigerated, but if you serve it right away, it is gorgeous. The blueberries look so pretty and you could put blackberries or strawberries or any kind of berries that you want on top. Same with the filling. You could trade it out, make it a raspberry pie or blackberry pie. It doesn't have to be just blueberry but this color is super pretty so we're gonna cut it and try it and I'm gonna share it with my family so we'll see see how it goes it cut really nice see the crust at the bottom so we're gonna try it crust beautifully colored super creamy better than ice cream cake I swear so good. This is definitely gonna be my go-to recipe. The crust tastes so good and well put together. Look how good that looks. So I'm definitely gonna be my go-to dessert for the entire summer, I swear. So many different versions. So beautiful. This is delicious. Thank you guys so much for watching. Day six was so good. That dessert was just 
like it's gonna be my go-to this summer again I did all the recipes from how much did I cookbook d6 is done um, we did dinner and dessert right now and yeah, baked onion rings were good. The main dish with, with um, mushrooms was good. I wasn't sure about that one. And that, that pie and cake was just like amazing. So um, if you like this, please comment below, like this video, subscribe if you haven't. I will see you guys for day seven in the next one. Thank you so much for watching. And yeah, looking forward to day seven. Bye.